Ooh, wow, slippery slope. Where this video is digressing. I, that shouldn't be in the video, maybe, because they could think, oh, so he knows all about prostitutes, does he? Uh, <laughs> Basically, it's not why you should not marry a beautiful Ukrainian woman. It's nine uh, cautionary points, okay? It's just this video, uh, I hope, will go viral. Uh, because guys need to know these nine points if you're gonna man up and try to come here and be successful at winning the heart of finding her winning the heart of a slave woman and then getting her back home successfully and um, having a happy marriage and if I can add it is possible to get a really good Ukrainian wife and to have a great future together and I think you have to just understand it's going to take a huge amount of effort to find her. It's going to take an even larger amount of effort to keep your connection going. To keep her. <laughs> you need to do your due diligence and to understand what you're getting into because it's very high maintenance to have a Ukrainian. I and mean, probably it's true for most having most foreign wives because you're dealing with culture issues, language issues, and all that. You really have to invest your time, not only money. Because money alone, it's just going to get you like me, a divorce. It's going to take a lot of time and effort if you want to cultivate yourself and your relationship so it'll actually survive. The seventh reason why you never want to marry a beautiful Ukrainian woman, especially if she's from Kiev or Odessa, is... You usually can't cook. They usually can't. Guys, it's a myth that you're going to come to Ukraine, get a traditional values girl that's going to cook and clean for you and iron your shirts and wash your socks on the train. Listen, there are still a lot more women here in Ukraine uh, than you'd ever find in America or North America yeah. that are like that, but they're a dying breed here. It is. It's, it's fast. In the, in the time that I've been here, I've watched it dramatically reduce. You've been here seven years living in yeah. Ukraine. Well, and more and more girls go to school in the city, uh, and more and more of that city life, it's inducive to not being back in the village cooking and cleaning all day. So it's kind of a no-brainer. If you're going to school in the big city and you get used to it, what are they doing? Occasionally cafes, eating bad in the, in the dorm room, going direct to their job. So yeah, they're not uh, always running around making lots of big dishes. It's, it's getting more and more rare. Yeah, I mean, you still can find that, guys, but we're just saying uh, it's... Uh, they don't all do that. Yeah, they don't all do it's that. Not it's not a precondition. A yeah. it, it's a myth, and you guys need to know. Okay, the eighth reason why you never want to marry a beautiful Ukrainian woman, especially if she's from Kiev or Odessa, is... Beauty comes at a cost. Don't think Ukrainian women are cheap, <laughs> are inexpensive, right? Well... It, it, and exactly, and actually, this this is a it, it is cheaper in Ukraine for them to do hair and nails and all of this stuff. You want them to continue doing that back in your home country, but keep in mind, I know, like in America, it's it's ten x the amount of money it costs to keep the same maintenance in America as it does here. And and if you're going to marry a beauty queen, you know, mm -hmm. if if you're going to get a glam girl and, and Botox lip and the Botox too, yeah. she's expecting all this hair, makeup, nails. Botox and you take her back home and like you say 10x it ain't cheap be prepared as they they will say the glam girls here will say Do you think this beauty is cheap? You got to pay for this baby. Absolutely. My second wife uh, She was young. She was beautiful, but she kept beautiful. How she had frequent visits I mean literally several visits per month going to the uh, to laser treatments she's going to salon every week and you know when I was in Ukraine and I'm paying for this, it's like, okay, it's okay. But back in the States, hundreds and hundreds of dollars per week. You really have to set a budget for that. Otherwise, you know, <laughs> it's going to be a slippery slope. Yep. Be prepared. Point number nine is very risque, guys. <laughs> uh, I shudder to even say this, but point number nine, why you should never marry a beautiful Ukrainian woman, especially if she's from Kiev or Odessa, is... Overvaluation of sexual market value. Now, I don't, I, my caveat is I don't necessarily think this, this is not my opinion, but I've heard it a lot out there. And to do this video, so you guys know, I surveyed a pool of guys that are very experienced in the space of Ukrainian women, even marrying them. And that's what came back is that these women think their beauty, you know, and their sexual market value is higher than it actually is. I don't know, Jeff, what do you think about that? Wow, that's a tough one. I mean, for a, a, a foreigner coming here, uh, he's not gonna know better. But you, local Ukrainian men, they, they don't get so easily appealed by that. They, they're used to seeing sexy, beautiful girls every day, so they pay very little for it. And, you know, 
I want to go into this topic, but I don't think I should. <laughs> Uh, yeah, it's getting it's getting uh, behind the scenes here. Uh, we're gonna get roasted in the comments <laughs> for this. Again, it's not my opinion, but it seems to be a prevalent opinion out there. Here's an example: um, a beautiful girl. Uh, she's an escort. Foreigner comes in. He pays two hundred dollars, or maybe three hundred dollars per hour. The same girl can turn around a few weeks later or a few weeks before and give away her same services for 80% less to a Ukrainian guy. Mm. Ooh, wow, slippery slope. Where this video is <laughs> That shouldn't be in the video, maybe, because they could say, oh, so he knows all about prostitutes, does he? Uh, <laughs> uh, well, you know, if you've lived here seven years uh, and you're a man, uh, eventually you find out. Uh, I mean... It's everywhere. Yeah. It's, it's everywhere. It, 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 it's, you, know, you can't even walk down the street sometimes and they're handing out cards. <clears throat> uh, with prices, I mean, it's it's it, it's. It well, they go crazy. after foreigners, and prostitution yeah. is definitely, um, uh, you know, a, a normal business here. Yeah, yeah. So again, this video is not that you shouldn't, but just be careful, be aware of these nine and, and other many other issues that we haven't spoken about, and uh, be committed. If you want to come here and do this, you can pull it off, but uh, the better uh, educated you get the better your chances of success. Good luck, guys. And good hunting.